The follow me tool needs two things to work, a shape and a path to pull the shape along. The key to being effective is using your imagination as to the path and the shape. Look at some of these examples to get some ideas. Now that you have an idea of what Follow Me is capable of, let's look at the best ways to use the tool. Regardless of the original shape orientation, when you use Follow Me, it will create geometry in a perpendicular direction to the path. For this reason, it's best to make sure that your shape is created perpendicular to the path. The shape does not need to be connected to the path, but it will align itself to the path. You can see this here. These two shapes are in very different positions, but using the Follow Me tool with the same path results in both shapes aligning to the path as a starting point. So far, we've been manually guiding the shape along a path with the Follow Me tool. However, the process is usually much easier if you pre-select the path first. Using the Select tool, pick a series of edges, making sure that they are all joined. Now use the Follow Me tool to pick the shape, and it automatically follows the path that you had selected. Let's do this a few times to make sure you understand. Pick a path first, several connected edges, then select the Follow Me tool and click on the shape to use Follow Me. Select the path first, then the shape with the Follow Me tool. Another way to pick the path first is to select a single surface. This surface exists because of the bounding edges, so we can select this one surface to effectively select all the edges. Now use the Follow Me tool on this shape to have it follow the edges of the surface. Again, a few examples. Select the surface, then use the Follow Me tool to click on the shape. Pick the surface with the Select tool, then the shape with the Follow Me tool. Here is one more way to work quickly with the Follow Me tool. When you need to follow a surface as we've been doing, you can also use a modifier key to work quickly. Use the Follow Me tool to start pulling a shape, hold down the Alt key or Command key on a Mac, and click on the surface you want to follow along. That surface is used for the Follow Me path. Now let's look at using Follow Me to create lathe shapes. Remember the two ingredients, a shape and a path. Combining different shapes with different paths makes for very powerful and fun combinations. Remember, you can pre-select a path or use a modifier key for very quick work. When creating complicated shapes that you are going to lathe, here is a tip. Start by creating a simple rectangle and move it into the correct position, then draw the details on the rectangle. This makes it easy to draw a coplanar shape. Erase the outer edges and you're ready to use Follow Me.